chewy. And everything she made always smelled so yummy. Mm. But there was someone in Gourmet Galaxy who didn't like yummy food. General Yuck, we found Princess Zuli's ship. Excellent. <gasps> it's General Yuck's starship, the Yuckaroni. Princess Zuli, prepare to be boarded. Uh, there's only one thing that can stop General Yuck. Come on. I've got you now, Princess. Where'd she go? She couldn't have gone far, General. These cookies are fresh out of the oven. Oh, don't these cookies smell nice and look so yummy? Well, my yuck ray will soon take care of that. I just love yuckifying yummy food. Yeah. Well done, General Yuck. Very gross. Mm -hmm. And I won't stop until I yuckify everything yummy in this galaxy. <sighs> Here it is. This is the secret recipe for moon muffins, the only food that can stop General Yuck's yuck ray. Please deliver it to Master Chef Gobi on Planet Yum. Go quickly. <laughs> huh. Is that a secret recipe for something yummy? I don't think so. Get that puppy! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! I got you! <laughs> oh. Stop! Stop! I got you! Oh. Welcome to Picture Pizza Parlor. Hi, Una. Table for two, please. Certainly. Right this way. Here are your menus, and your waiter will be right over to take your order. Thanks. Hello. I will be your waiter this evening. What kind of picture would you like on your pizza? Let's see. <laughs> A sailboat pizza. Oh, let's get that. Excellent choice. One sailboat pizza, coming right up. I'll put it in the oven. 15 minutes later. Here you are, one sailboat pizza. Hey, it's a sailboat. What do you know? a lot of happy customers. Mm -hmm. mm, table for one. <gasps> Mr. Grumpfish! Hello. Welcome to Picture Pizza Parlor. Right this way, please. Here you go, sir. Your waiter will be right with you. Gil, go take his order, please. I don't want to. Come on, I'll go with you. Hello. I'm, I'm Waiter, and, and I'll be your Gil today. What? May I take your order, sir? Mm, I don't know. Perhaps you'd be interested in our special today, sir. We'll surprise you. All right. I don't like surprises. What are we going to do? I don't know, but we have to make him a happy customer. He loved the special. The huh? What's special? I don't know. I just made it up. We have to do something. What are you looking at? <gasps> I got it. I know just what to make. Here you are, sir. The special! Made especially for you. What do you think? Is that supposed to be me? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> He's starting to smile. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> it looks like me. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was a grumpy fish. My life was misery. But then I got this pizza. Now I'm happy as can be. Since he got the pizza, he's as happy as can be. No more grumpy life for me. That's one happy customer. Happy fish is all are we. Happy fish is all are we. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. But just one bite. Tasty! <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever tasted! Oh, <laughs> tasty! <laughs> so, can I have a bite? Well, uh, uh, Yeah! We want tasty food, too! Do you have more food? We only made one sandwich. Well, I want a bite. Yeah, I've never had anything tasty. Well, I could eat. We need more tasty food. Did someone call for some tasty food? Cause we've got all the tastes. Sweet, salty, bitter, sour. <laughs> and you can call me Umami Nani. I'm hard to define, but always delicious. going to be a lot tastier from now on. Especially with some new taste buddies. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, wait! Attention, people of Bland Land. This land is bland no more. I am changing the name to Tasty Town! Oh! Every harvest day, they made the biggest feast of all so that the whole town could gather and enjoy a yummy meal together. Oh, look at that! That's exciting! Oh, wow, look! Thank you, Holiday Cooks, for this wonderful Harvest Day feast. Happy Harvest Day, Mayor Zooey. I hope everyone is hungry. Oh, I am. Holiday mm, Cooks? Looks delicious. Well, there's plenty to share. We're always looking to share our cooking. <laughs> Oh, that looks delicious. Can you pass that? <laughs> Only if you pass the potatoes. Can you pass the beans? like a baby. That is one loud baby. Don't worry, everyone. We'll check it out. And when we come back, the Harvest Day Feast will go on. Yeah! Thanks, Holiday Cooks. The feast is on hold until you come back. We'll be back soon, everyone. <laughs> Not here yet. Ooh, I can't wait to dance. <laughs> <laughs> we have napkins. And we have all of Clam's favorite snacks. Right, Clam? Clam? He's over there. Hi, Clam. What are you doing? Waiting for Sam. It won't be a happy clam day without him. 
Hmm. Is that Sam? No, just the mail carrier. Look at the cool mail truck. I think she's stopping here. Hi, Mr. Grouper. Hi, come on in. I have some mail here for Clam and the Bubble Guppies. Mail? For us? We got wow. mail. All right. cool. I never got mail before. It's a package. Look, there's our name and address. That's a lot of stamps. That means it's really heavy. Wow, I wonder what's inside. The suspense is maddening. Go ahead, open it. Ooh, it's pretty. What is it? It's for the party. Sam! Hey, everyone. He got our invitation. Thanks for inviting me to the party. Good to see you, Sam. Happy Clam Day. Happy Clam Day to you, too. Happy Clam Day! Now? Now? prepared some fruit and vegetable snacks. Oh, no, 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 yummy, yummy! What kind of snacks, Nani? Mysterious snacks. You have to guess. Ooh, oh, okay. Mysterious. I like guessing. Under here is a fruit that's red with little tiny seeds all over it, and it grows on bushes. Hmm. I'll give you a hint. Strawberries! You guessed it. Yum! Mm -hmm. I love Yum. strawberries. Under here is a vegetable. It's green on the outside, but yellow on the inside, and it grows on the cob. Hmm. Mr. Grouper? Corn! <laughs> corn. Yum! 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 Now, everybody dig in. Delicious! Delicious! Mmm, tomatoes! Mmm, Dima, want some broccoli? It's yummy. Crunchy. Mm, I'm not ready to try it yet. What's that, Chef Grouper? It's a recipe, Una. A recipe shows you how to make things to eat. And this one tells me how to make a yogurt parfait. It shows me all the things I need and how to put them together. Cool. I see yogurt. And I see fruit. Yep, fruit and yogurt are the ingredients. Ingredients are the foods and spices in a recipe. And done. Here you go. Now that's what I call fast food. <laughs> Let's think about how we make yummy food. The room where we cook and bake is called the... Kitchen. Right. And you can mix ingredients together with a... That's right. And when you're learning to cook something, you follow a... Recipe. Yup, a recipe tells you what foods you need and what steps to take. Now we're cooking? Yeah, let's sing about it. Fruits, veggies, grains, nuts, dairy, and more. Get it from the farm or the grocery store. And step by step, pretty soon you'll see. We're making a kitchen masterpiece. Oh, 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 let's cook some food and add the ingredients one by one. Oh, 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 let's cook some food. The recipe tells you how it's done. I wanna chop it, bake it, fry it. It's a tasty treat. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Come on, let's. Yeah. 
Some marshmallows so we can make some s'mores. Mmm, s'mores. Yeah. And that means it's time to tell a spooky campfire story. Spooky. Tell us your story, Gobi. Okay. This is the story of Pinkfoot. 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 Ahem. Legend has it that when you go camping, and the moon is full. And if you make s'mores, then Pinkfoot might come. And if he does... What was that? It's coming from over there. Maybe it's Pinkfoot. Everybody, get out your flashlights. Help us find out what's making that sound. Hold your flashlight out like this. Ready? Flashlight on! It's the Crab Scouts! Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Crab, Crab Scouts. Scouts! We thought you were Pinkfoot! Woohoo! That's our favorite spooky campfire story! Sit down, Crab Scouts! Go ahead, Goby. Finish the story! Well. And if you make s'mores on a night like tonight, when the moon is full, then you might get a visit from none other than Pinkfoot. Then what happens? Hey, wait a minute. You're Pinkfoot? Shh! Kobe's not finished with his story. Thank you. And if you give Pinkfoot a s'more, he'll sing a song for you. Is that true? Gracias for the story. Many thanks for the snack. Each time you make s'mores, I'm sure to come back If you roast your marshmallows By the light of the moon And make s'mores for pink food Then I'll come to you soon I'll come to you soon Let's think about kitchens! In a kitchen, you keep things cold in the... Refrigerator. Right. And in the kitchen drawer, you might find forks and... Spoons. Right. And a grown-up might cook a hot meal on the... Stove. Right. But a stove is very hot, so only grown-ups should use it. I love being in the kitchen. Let's sing about it. We're in the kitchen, yeah, we're in the kitchen. Where we keep the food, the cooking gets done, and we need as a family. Everything has a place, forks, spoons, and plates, but that cup's just out of reach. Mom put on the refrigerator a picture that I made her. When it's me.
squid a delicious fish. No, thank you. I want yes a turkey sandwich. A turkey sandwich with lettuce and tomato. Now, please. Yes, so、oh、squid. Where are we gonna get a turkey sandwich? Ancient legends tell us of a place where we can get everything we need to make one. What is this place called? The supermarket. And so the islanders set off for Supermarket Island to get everything they needed for the turkey sandwich. Look, the giant squid is coming. Hungry. We better hurry. I got the turkey. I got the bread. What else do we need? Next, we need lettuce. Lettuce is a vegetable. Let's look at the signs. Which aisle has vegetables? That's right, aisle one. That's the produce aisle. Look, the giant squid is coming. Let's go. Here's the lettuce. And we're also looking for tomatoes. Do you see any tomatoes? Right, a tomato. What's taking so long? Almost finished. It's a good thing that everything in the supermarket is organized by aisles. So the islanders paid for everything in the cart and made the giant squid his sandwich. That looks delicious. Thank you. Mmm. Now dance, please. Oh, goody! It hasn't rained here in a really long time, and our strawberries are drying up. What are we going to do, Farmer Gobi? We can't make our delicious strawberry froyo without strawberries. Yeah, we really need it to rain. Gobi, look! That looks like a rain cloud. Here it comes. But just as it was about to rain, <laughs> rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Oh no! <laughs> It's a funny. Throw your farmers. Uh oh. And so the farmers ran away. What are we going to do? That giant ruined our strawberries. Let's go see if our mountain strawberries are okay. Good idea. So the farmers went to check on their strawberries up in the mountains. Oh no! The strawberries up here are drying up too. They need water, quick! All right, rain! But once again. <laughs> rain, rain, go away! Come again some other day. <laughs> Goodbye, bye. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Froyo. Bad idea. Froyo, yo, yo. He's coming after us. Froyo. Back to our strawberries. There's got to be something we can do before they all dry up. And so, the farmers went to their last strawberry patch. Oh no! Rain! Ah! Froyo? Froyo? You want frozen yogurt? Strawberry? I'm afraid we can't make strawberry froyo without strawberries. Yeah, and strawberries need rain to grow. And you keep blowing away our rain clouds. <laughs> I want strawberry froyo. <laughs> well, if you really want some strawberry froyo, 
We're gonna need to find a rain cloud. Clouds? Oh, either way there are some clouds. Cloud above mountain top, cloud above sheep meadow, and the cloud above woodsy forest. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't know which is best to make strawberries grow. The giant needs your help. Which one of these clouds will make rain so the strawberries grow? That way! You're right. That's a rain cloud. Oh, boy! Wee! <laughs> Helping the strawberries grow. So the strawberries grew plump and juicy so the farmers could make their delicious strawberry frozen yogurt. Hey, looky there! Ice cold lemonade! Here come some customers. Oh no! All of our lemonade got spilled. We don't have any left. Now what are we gonna do? We better make some more. Good thing making lemonade is easy. All you need is water, lemons, and sugar. Here's the water. And here's the sugar. Now all we have to do is add the juice of one whole lemon. Uh-oh. The lemon's already cut into pieces. We need your help, partner. We need the juice from one whole lemon. To make a whole lemon, we need two halves. Which two lemon pieces are halves? That one! And that one! Right! These two halves match each other and fit together to make a whole lemon. One pitcher of refreshing ice-cold lemonade. Howdy, folks! One at a time now, please. A rattle! We better skedaddle! Look! The Rattler. All right, Rattler. The good people of this town deserve some ice-cold lemonade, and we're here to see that they get it. Don't cry, Rattler. What's the matter? I, I can't take this heat no more. I'm thirsty. Well, why didn't you just ask us? I never had a chance. Every time I'd rattle, you guys would skedaddle. We're awful sorry, Rattler. Now why don't you come have a refreshing glass of ice cold lemonade with us? Hot diggity! And so, the Lemonade Wranglers gave the Rattlers some ice-cold lemonade. Refreshing! <laughs> Hi, welcome to Fast Fruit. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a fruit salad. I'll take a banana nana full fanta, please. Coming right up! One banana nana full fanta, make it fast! The Banana Nana Faux Fanta has four banana slices and two strawberries. We need two strawberries. One, two. And I need you to help me count four banana slices. Ready? One, two, three, four. Four banana slices and two strawberries. Order up. There you are, a banana nana full fan of fruit salad. Wow, that was fast. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, welcome to Fast Fruit. Can I help you? Hello, I'll have a strawberry spectacular, please. One strawberry spectacular, make it fast. The strawberry spectacular has strawberries, blueberries, and orange slices. We need two blueberries. One, two, three orange slices. One, two, 
three, and seven strawberries. I better hurry. Help me count seven strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? Uh oh, that's too many. Go backwards with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven strawberries left. Thanks for your help. Order up. Here you go. One strawberry spectacular. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's, it's time, time for lunch. lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Nani. What did you order for lunch today? Lasagna extravaganza. I ordered vegetable delight. What did you order, Gobi? Three chicken surprise. But there are only two chickens. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Who said that? It's a pretzel quaddle! Yummy! I think he means us. Let's get out of here! Yummy! City subway. A subway is an underground train. That will get us to the temple fast. Hurry! Let's look at the map. These are the different subways. Red, blue, and yellow. Let's see which one we can take to get to the temple of the golden pretzel. We're here, and the temple's over there. From this station, we can take the red, or the blue subway. Una, look! The red and blue subways don't go to the temple. Only the yellow subway does. We have to get to the yellow subway. We need your help. Will the red subway take us to the yellow subway? No, it doesn't. What about the blue subway? Will the blue subway take us to the yellow subway? Yep, the blue subway takes us to the yellow subway, which takes us all the way to the temple of the golden pretzel. Here comes the blue subway. Yummy! Oh no, here comes Pretzel Quaddle. Hurry, get on. Yeah! And there's the yellow subway. That'll take us straight to the temple of the golden pretzel. Yummy! Pretzel bottle! Ah! That was a close one. Come on! Next stop, the temple of the golden pretzel. Here. Come on! We made it! The Temple of the Golden Pretzel! You, look! Yummy! You said it, sister! Pretzel Guado! Please don't eat us! We, we probably taste terrible! Eat you? <laughs> you guys are weird. I only eat pretzels. Really? Yeah. Would you like some? Yes, please. Help yourself. <laughs> I don't have hands. Here you go. Yummy. And so, Pretzel Quato shared his pretzels with the explorers. And everyone lived happy ever after. Hooray! Time out. It's time for a short stop in the action while the cupcakes bake. Fifteen minutes later. 
All baked and cool to the touch. And there's Nani with the bubble cream icing. The cupcakes are iced. And they do look yummy. Yummy! All Bill has to do now is get those cupcakes to home plate before the timer runs out. Hurry, Gilly! to the hive before tea time. But it's going to be some difficult flying today. Just look at all those obstacles. Obstacles are things that get in your way. And it looks like we're about to begin. On your marks. Get set. Go! And team Bumblebee takes off! These first obstacles look quite difficult. Let's see if they can fly through them without getting knocked out of the race. Oh, look at the girl! Sally Cook! We're seeing some incredible flying today! Uh-oh! Now they're going to have to get through those flowers! And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the precious nectar ball. Gotcha! Brilliant! Gil has got the nectar ball, and Team Bumblebee is taking it back to the hive. <laughs> oh, no! Got it! An amazing interception by Una. Go, Una! And Una had better be careful, because I think it's about to get windy. Whoa! Go be cat! Now Gobi's got the nectar ball, but it looks like it's about to rain! Look out! Ugh. And there goes the nectar ball! A perfect catch by Molly! What tremendous teamwork! Go, Molly! And Molly's heading back to the hive! Only a few more seconds until tea time! Now she's got to get the nectar ball into the hive by throwing it through the honeycomb! I need your help! Which one of these is shaped like a honeycomb? The square, the triangle, or the hexagon? The hexagon! Right! The hexagon! He made it! The nectar ball is in the hive, and here comes the honey! And I think they're really going to tickle your taste buds. Taste buds? What are taste buds? 
taste buds are little bumps on your tongue that tell you how your food tastes. Wow! <laughs> yep. And I've got five different tastes here for you to try. We have sweet strawberries, salty pretzels, bitter broccoli, and sour lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one last taste, umami. Who's mommy? <laughs> no, no, umami. It's the special taste of things like mushrooms, meats, and cheeses. I like cheese. A lot. <laughs> Me too, Nani. Let's think some more about the way foods taste. Some foods taste sweet, like... Strawberries. Right, strawberries. Lots of fruits are sweet, and some fruits taste sour. Like... Lemons. Yup, lemons are sour. And some vegetables taste bitter, like broccoli and... Celery. Yup, celery is bitter too. Food is tasty. Let's sing about it. Harvest Day is all about sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
get back to town with our new friends. It's not too late for the Harvest Day Feast. Come on, everyone. Come on, everybody. I've never had to. Patch is just over here. I can't wait to pick out my pumpkin. Yeah, yeah pumpkin! pumpkin. Oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. <gasps> the pumpkins are gone. Where did they go? <laughs> Giblet! <laughs> What's the matter, Giblet? Don't worry, guys. I speak turkey. <laughs> You say you know where the pumpkins are? And we should come with you right away? And you want us to get in the wagon? You heard the bird. To the wagon. Let's go! Happy fall, guppies. Happy fall! was some fall. <laughs> <laughs> Climb aboard, mateys. <laughs> nice to see you too, Giblet. <laughs> Excuse me, but where are all the pumpkins? We went back to the patch, but they were all gone. Ah, uh, well, that might be because me and my crew turned them all into pumpkin pie! <laughs> pumpkin pie! Pumpkin pie! Yeah! Pumpkin pie! Oh, oh, pie. Oh, oh, pie. Oh, pumpkin pie! Arr, there's only one thing that's better than eating pumpkin pie this time of year. Eating pumpkin pie with friends! All right, let's eat. Yay! Hello. Hello. We'd like a smoothie, please. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Welcome to the fruit bowl, where we set them up and knock them down. <laughs> what would you like in your smoothie, ma'am? Well, Bun Bun loves carrots. So we'll make Bun Bun a carrot smoothie. Carrots are vegetables. We need your help. Where do carrots grow? On a tree? On a vine? Or underground? Underground! That's right! Carrots grow underground. Now we have carrots, a tasty vegetable. What about fruit for your smoothie? Bun Bun loves bananas. Okay, let's take a look. We need your help again. Where do bananas grow? Under the ground, on top of the ground, or on trees? On trees! That's right! Bananas grow on trees! The bananas and carrots are all set up. And here's a cantaloupe. Bun Bun likes cantaloupe, too. Now it's time for you to knock them down. One carrot, banana, and cantaloupe smoothie coming right up. 
one bun. Somebody likes smoothies. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for your help. What's your favorite food? Oh, that one's yummy. Let's think some more about the five food groups. Proteins are foods that make your muscles strong, like chicken, steak, and... Eggs! Right! And beans and tofu are protein, too. Grains are foods that give you energy, like... Bread! <laughs> yup! And foods that come from milk are called dairy, like yogurt, ice cream, and... Cheese! Dairy nice! <laughs> the five food groups are making me hungry. Let's sing about it! of turkey, and two slices of the Baron's favorite, bland bread. Now we need two slices of tomato and some lettuce. Which group has two slices of tomato and one piece of lettuce? This one or this one? That one! There! That's right! We've got what we need for the Baron's sandwich. Thanks for your help. Definitely want to taste that. The taste buddies are back in business. Let's go! Hello. I'd like to eat cereal for breakfast. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Welcome to Cereal Boxes, where we serve breakfast to champions. We'll make a champ out of you, kid. How do you like your cereal? With milk, please. Coming right up. On this table, we'd like some cereal with milk. Uh, I think you forgot something. The kid's right. You can't eat cereal without a spoon. Right, we forgot the spoon. Here you go, champ, a spoon. Something wrong? I think I'm still missing something. Hmm. Coach? Uh, napkin? Uh-uh. 
I need something to put the cereal in, like a bowl. Right, a bowl! But I don't know where we keep the bowls. I need your help. Where do you find bowls in the kitchen? In the cupboard? In the oven? Or in the refrigerator? Right, you can find the bowls in the cupboard. Hang on, this table we have a bowl. And in this bowl we pour some cereal. And on top of that cereal we pour... Milk. Yup. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Well? It's good, thanks. I like cherries. I like broccoli. What's the matter, Dima? Don't you like broccoli? Have you ever tried it? Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about fruits and vegetables. Some fruit grows on trees, like... Apples. Apples, yes. And some fruit grows on a bush. Like... Strawberries. Strawberries, yeah! And some vegetables grow underground. Like... Carrots! That's right! Carrots! There are so many different kinds of fruits and vegetables. Let's sing about it! A bowl of black-eyed peas, forest of broccoli. Lip snack and bean, snack and apple crunch, banana bunch, bits of plant you can eat. Then I want to eat that treat. Whoa, whoa. Fruit. Give me fruit. And veggies. And too. Fruit. First a bite. And veggies. And then a two. Fruit. If it's a plant. And veggies. And you can eat them. Fruit. Fruits and veggies. They're so yummy in my tummy. They're so yummy in my tummy. You can't beat them. Potatoes, buttered mashed all rice, cucumbers, peeled and sliced, cantaloupe, eaten off the rind. Spinach, so leafy green, buffalo and tangerine, juicy berries, every shape and guy, yai, yai, yai. I'll devour cauliflower and for you a honeydew. Lemons, oh so tart, artichoke, leaves and today.
truck! This whole time you just wanted ice cream? Yeah, it's real hot out here. Is there any left? No, it's all melted. <laughs> melted? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can help. Two scoops of melted ice cream. In a cup, please. Taste it. It's... it's... delicious! I call it a rattle shake. Ha! <laughs> That's just what I would have said. Rattle shakes for everyone. Yeah! Yeah! Let's shake, rattle, and roll. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.